G'day friends. Today we're going to get four photos that look like this and turn them into a panorama in Lightroom that looks like... Okay, so here's our four photos and if we select all four of them, just like that, and if we right click there and go to Photo Merge and select Panorama, Lightroom will do its magic and create a panorama sooner or later. And as you can see, it's made its own panorama and it's I've got auto crop clicked there. If I turn it off, that's what it actually looked like, which is not really suitable. We can manually crop it or we can crop it like that. The other option we have is the boundary warp and we could use the boundary warp very magically to bring in all the edges like that. It's brought it in, but it's stretched some of the side there. And we've got the curvature of the earth, which we don't really want. So I'll do the auto crop. We could have done it cylindrical. What would that have looked like? Uh, it's not bad itself. And then the perspective, just once again, it's looking like that. We'll go with perspective and we'll merge those photos. Okay, so here we have our four photos merged into one. And uh, what don't we like about it? The horizon is not clearly defined, so that's a little bit of a problem. And it's also not that straight. And to make the panorama look like a panorama, we will crop it a little as well. So how about we pull that down, maybe take advantage of the width that we have, and straighten up that horizon a little. Okay, maybe a little less there, and maybe remove that cloud up there, and see how that looks. It does look pretty good. Okay, I like that crop, and it uh, is a little bit uh, hazy there, so if I click on dehaze, we can make it a little bit ha less hazy. The haze also adds contrast and makes it a bit bluer. So we've got three for one. If we click the dehaze, we'll go up to a number up, up around there. And that is very blue, quite contrasty. And we've lost some of the haze there. So it's achieved what we wanted to achieve. Now, I'm not sure if we need all that information there. Maybe I'll crop it over a little more. And how does that look? That looks good too. And I still have a lot of green down the bottom, which is nice. And what if we just got rid of a bit of it to give that panorama kind of a look? That's nice, but we've also lost that down there. So that's pretty good. I like that. That was a very quick panorama in Lightroom. And I kind of like the look of that. And don't forget, if you ever need a photographer or a photo editor, please send me a message on my website. Thanks, everybody.